Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Grand Theft Auto 5 GTA 5 online DLC video where we're going to be checking out the Brawler. Now we've already done videos on the McLaren P1 or the T20 as it's called, absolutely amazing, beautiful sports car or supercar I should say, absolutely delightful. And I've just finished recording this beautiful beast, the classic, oh it's so good, the black fin is amazing. Uh, if you want to watch these videos or any other that I'm doing today, um, either click the link in the description. It's a playlist. It will take you to all of my videos. You can watch all the way through or alternatively, you can go to my channel page and select the ones that interest you the most. So for those of you watching right now, I'm assuming you want to see about the brawler. Now, I do have to purchase it, so let's go and take a look and see how much it costs. Um, I'm expecting, for what I'm ex expecting the car, I've not watched any other videos online or anything like that. I'm expecting it to feel not that fast, good off-road, uh, quite a few customization options, so I don't really know what to expect with this, because it's kind of a hybrid. It's also an electric car, because it's made by the manufacturer Coil in the game. Um, so, yeah, it should be interesting. I don't know what to expect, but it should be fun. So this one's freaking expensive, and luckily I can just about afford it. I can actually afford it quite easily, but still. So nice interior. I actually really like the back of that car. It looks really, really cool. Let's read the uh, 4x4. <laughs> I love Rockstar games and their banter. It's brilliant. 10 out of 10 for bants. Right, okay. So what color should I get it in? I'm going to get it in yellow because it actually looks quite cool in yellow there. So yellow it is. And I'm actually going to have to start replacing really nice cars. Now, I hate this one here. So I'm actually going to remove that. I hope that's what it was. I can never remember the names of all these cars. It was, because it's just disappeared. Fantastico! So, yeah, I'm going to wait for this car. Uh, so, I went and got changed, and, uh, oh my god, this... Wow! Wow! I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wasn't expecting that to like this car that much, but it looks freaking sweet as, man. It's futuristic. It, look like, it looks like it should be on Mars or the moon or some shit. It looks amazing. So, what we're going to do... Wow, this... I love this. I'm really surprised. Genuinely, my expectations were fairly low. Gonna be honest. Oh man, look at that suspension. Oh, can you imagine? In, I, there won't be hydraulics. But if there was, oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, moves cars alright. Just gave that car a little clip to see how good the performance was. I'm just gonna... Oh, I can't get a cheeky screenshot. Alright, it's like perfect time to get... Screenshot weather, it's like midday, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna try and not take too long with this. Because my last video, I actually spent like the majority of it in Los Santos Customs, making decisions. And I don't really want to do that too much. So let's take a quick look at what you can do to this absolute beast. It is genuinely a beast, that's what it is. Uh, okay, so let's start with the bumpers. Yeah, whoa. Oh yeah, I lo I'm loving this already, lads. Spare tire, and uh, wow, yes, yes. I this car is looking. I think I might find. I found my most favourite car, which is surprising. You gotta have the spotlights. You gotta have the spotlights. Suspension. <laughs> Look how low you can actually have it. Do 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 do. Look how the difference of that. Well, I want to keep it up because I want it to be an off-road beast. Not going to change the wheels because, honestly, I don't think you're going to get any cooler wheels than the ones that are there. Same with the classic cars as well. So I'm just going to do one last thing. I'm going to add the Team 43 to the back. And look at it. Look at this monster. It's amazing. It's genuinely really cool. The light, I'm going to be honest, the light's on the top look really stupid <laughs> from behind they look cool at, like from that angle but from behind they just look absolutely stupid the word is stupid um, see so yeah, I might take them off in the future but for just the for the nevertheless the tie on the back is cool now if I crash this car and ruin one of the tires and I don't get to change <laughs> I don't get to change the uh, the tire I'm gonna be upset which I know is probably the case anyway, but there we go. All right, so let, I want to go take this off-road. I want to go to Mount Chiliad. I want to, you know, see how we get on over in the old 
Blaine County, and uh, yeah, it should be good fun. So I hope you guys let me know what you think of this car. Are you, are you surprised as I am? Because honestly, like I said at the start of the video, I mean, it's not scripted at all. I kind of wish it was because it would have been pretty smart if I had scripted it. Um, but I was like, yeah, don't expect too much. Don't expect me to get too excited about it. But honestly, like, I really like this car. Let's see if I can just go up here quickly. You can see I'm recording in the bottom left-hand corner. This is how I get all my screenshots. Then I use the Rockstar editor to... Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's going to look a little bit dirty, but that's what you want. This little rugged beast. There you go. I'm sure there's something there. I'm sure I'll get something. Usually what I do is just spend ages messing around with the free camera in... Um... Oh, that... Oh, oh. I can't talk and do stuff at the same time. You guys know this. Um, I mess around with the Rockstar editor. I use the free camera to find a good screenshot. It's like one of my... It's like something I really enjoy. Like, making the videos is fun as well. But actually, I really enjoy making thumbnails. Is that kind of weird? Probably is weird. Right, let's get on to the motorway here. Let's get on to the highway, as you Americans call it. And, uh, you know, i got to speak all languages, because I was looking at the statistics on my channel the other day, and the amount of different countries you guys come from is really cool. And I'm going, like, the worst way possible. But, oh well. Um, but, yeah, so, hey, if you want and you don't particularly care for this car all that much, and you don't really care to uh, say what you think of this car, uh, let me know where you're from. I love comments like that. I always do it when I'm doing live streams. And uh, it'd be cool to see where you guys are from. So there we go. Right, I'll see you guys when we get to the bottom of Mount Chiliad. Okay, so I'm pretty much at the bottom of Mount Chiliad. And I've been driving it along sort of standard roads. And at the start of the video, I said that I don't expect the car to be that fast. It's not going to compete with a uh, supercar, as you would expect. <laughs> that was a bit <laughs> ambitious there. Uh, it's not going to compete with a supercar, obviously. But uh, I'm going to be honest, it is actually... F I think it's a little better than I was expecting. It's like the king of off-road. It's going to... As I say that, it's really struggling. But it is genuinely very good. At, um, like a top speed. Once you get going and you go into straight lines, actually really, really nice. And going up hills is fairly okay. Unless you're like me and just try and go up vertical... <laughs> vertical planes. But yeah, this is fairly impressive. Like, I'm actually going at quite some speed. Uh, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit more. There we go. But yeah, it's actually like a really... Not, oh, look at this. I'm going to get a freaking screenshot now. Look at this. It's perfect. <laughs> it's genuinely really, really cool. So if you're into, like, off-road races and that sort of a thing, um, I actually quite enjoy off-road races from time to time, uh, then this is probably you know, the king of off-road for you, if you want to do well in GT Online races and that sort of a thing. Um, yeah, it's like, it's a nice car, it's cool, I prefer it much more than I thought I would. It's genuinely quite a good performer, and yeah, I don't really know what else to say, other than I like it more than I thought I would. It is expensive, that is the only thing, quite like a lot of this stuff. Um, it's a lot more expensive than, like, you anticipate. Well, we all knew it was going to be Oh, luckily, oh, I'm in a little tricky situation here, lads. Ooh, there we go. But yeah, it's a little bit more um, forgiving than your average car. Going up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's finish this video at the top of Mount Chiliad. Uh, next up in our next video of the playlist, I'll be checking out either the Marge Simpson car or the, uh, the bike, which I'm excited to try out. I'm kind of leaving it. I think I'm going to leave it till last. Uh, and then I'm going to try out the boat and obviously then the weapons. So lots of cool stuff to check out. Um, this is obviously the third video. Uh, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And ironically, I'm stuck at the moment. And I'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Take care. Oh.